Again, welcome everybody to Real Estate Friday. Uh, super excited. Although it's a short week, we still uh, want to make sure that we come to you with the latest information, strategies, tips that you can implement in your business and you can grow and expand your business. But before we start, uh, actually the title for we're going to be covering today is why should you pursue for sale by owners as listings? And I consider that to be the low hanging fruit, but it's all about having the right strategy in place. But before I begin, how many of you, those, you know, you guys are here with me today. How many of you have ever worked with for sale by owners? Type one in the chat. Sivana, good. So you have worked with for sale by owners. Um, if any of you have done that, please type it in the chat. It's very important because that's what we're going to be covering, especially why should you go after for sale by owners? And then we're going to expand a little bit in the next uh, upcoming Fridays of to different strategies. But not only are we going to cover it in our training, we're going to send you information that you can study, analyze, and, and hopefully that you can implement in your in your business. Uh, so great, Sivana. So Ray, you also have worked with uh, for sale by owners. Thank you so much for commenting. Um, a lot of you haven't, and, and perhaps, you know, you're, you're apprehensive about listing for sale by owner sellers because you suspect that you won't be able to convince them that working with you, it, it's a better choice than attempting to sell by, by themselves. But with a few enticing tools and, and, and tactics on your arsenal, you can convince for sale by owners that they need you as much as you need them. In fact, they might need you more. But first, though, let's talk about whether you really need them. Aren't for sale owners just a hassle to go after all, right? It, it, you feel like it's a lot of work, uh, the calls, uh, the, the strategies that you need to put in place. Or at least that's what you have always uh, experienced or have been told that working with for sale owners is difficult. But are you better off going after the surefire leads from your brokerage instead of scouting for sale by owners on Zillow or around the neighborhood. So you got to think about these things. The truth is that for sale by owners are a wealth of, of leads that you cannot afford to miss. I'll say that again. For sale by owners are a wealth of leads that you cannot afford to miss. In fact, uh, according to the uh, 2017 Consumer housing trends uh, reports conducted by Zillow, and again, this is back in 2017, it said that only 11% of all sellers ever managed to sell their homes without the help of an agent. That's a whooping 89% of sellers sell with a real estate agent's assistance. Despite 36% uh, who attempted to sell independently at first. So let's break down the numbers for a second. This means that 1.4 million sellers fail to sell for sale by owners and hire a real estate agent. That's equal to 25% of all the sellers. In fact, you know what? Let me share the link with you real quick, just so you can have it and you can look at it whenever you get a chance. Uh, I'll put it in the chat right now. Give me one second. All right, so I'm, I just put the link in the chat if you want to copy that and, and, and look at it. Again, this is back from 2017. So that means that as the market changes, right, you have to be able to find out the options, which that, that report talks about it. Options that you can offer, ways that you can do it, other than just making phone calls. But let me give you my opinion on why real estate agents should pursue for sale by owner. And that is that I find, I personally find, for sale by owners are what increases my listing inventory. And for sale by owner sellers can also be a buyer. Think about it. Not only they're sellers, but they can also be buyers. With so many of these people who want to list their home, guess what? They also need to buy. So if you do a good job for them, you can get referrals. And, and you're learning to build uh, relationships that other agents avoid. So you can sharpen your skills. That's my opinion. And let's break that down so you can understand why. Uh, why, uh, you know, a few of these reasons help, can help you work with for sale by owner sellers and, and talk about them. So let's break that down for, for a minute. And let's talk about the reason number one, which is you increase your listing inventory with for sale by owner sellers. That is reason number one. Increase your listing inventory with for sale by owner sellers. 
So a successful real estate agent always has uh, an active and growing listing inventory. If someone looks you up on the internet right now and you have next to no active listings, chances are what happens? They will pass you by for a different agent, right? Someone that does have active listings. Therefore, an active listing or any active listings are good news for you as an agent, including for sale by owner listings. So a smart agent keeps many irons in the fire, so to speak. So that's number one. You got to think about adding more listings to your arsenal, adding more listing, active listings to your, to your inventory. And for sale by owners can provide you exactly that. Reason number two, feasible sellers can transform into buyers. For sale by owners, sellers can transform into buyers. Yes, feasible sellers who also need to seek out their next dream house will likely want to work with you again if you did a great job in the selling process uh, for most of them, right? So most people want to keep working with someone that they've grown and they have, they now they trust you. Now you build this relationship. Armando, he talks about the, you know, becoming the relevant agent. And, and that's very important because if you ever attended that training, it, it's really uh, insightful because it shows you that you should be building relationships along the way. Even if you start working with leads or even you start building a relationship with uh, talking to a for sale by owner, your concentration is not just in selling the home, but building that relationship and why that is important. So reason number three, Feasible sellers can refer you to their family and friends. For sale by owner sellers can refer you to their family and friends. Again, how to become relevant. Feasible sellers might also have uh, friends, family who will hear of you, uh, of your services. Word of mouth, again, continues to be the best advertising out there. And, and one happy client will lead to another happy client. And again, back to the relevant agent uh, training, when you build that relationship and you become relevant, whether you close a deal or not, you become a friend. And now they're going to start talking about you, your services. And, and that's something that you want to make sure that you're building because you were on this business for the long haul. Reason number four, working with for sale by owner sellers means sharpening your skills. Working with feasible sellers means sharpening your skills. So many agents, they shy away from working with for sale by owner sellers because they think the, the obstacle of turning a stubborn for sale by owner into a listing is not worth the time or, or is beyond their skill set. So what does that mean for you? That means that you need to work on your skill. So by mastering a strategy that works for you and turning feasibles into a lucrative listing, You'll be ahead of many agents who are in competition with you, and you'll be enriching your own skills for the future so you can be a better agent. So just by doing that and going out to for sale by owner, think of all the skills that you're going to be implementing and adding already to, to the skill sets that you currently have. So in addition to these excellent reasons that you need feasible leads, don't forget that feasibles actually need you. They just have not quite uh, realized that. They, they don't even know that, right? What's going on most of the time? They want to save money. But notice why they need you. And look at this picture. Let me share my screen real quick. Can you see the picture? Yes, we can. Okay, perfect. Yes. All right, so if you yes. notice... Thank you. Thank you. If you know that picture, the, the typical um, for sale by owner home sold for $200,000 compared to uh, $265,000 for agent assistant home sales. And, and the, again, that's not me. If you notice, that's that's coming from the 2018 National Association of Realtors profile of home buyers and sellers. So you, that's that's $65,000 more in somebody else's pocket. So the question is, what does that mean for you? as an agent. So that means that if you can convince a, a for sale by owner that they'll make so much money working with you that your commission will just be a drop in the bucket. They'll be putty in your hands. So think of the possibilities. And you know this. This is not new. A lot of people, if you have worked with for sale by owner, 
uh, in the past, you have seen this before. Okay, most of the time you're able to put a lot more money in, in the owner's pocket than if they were to do it on their own. So that's the purpose of this training today. Just trying to convince you that like, why should you be going to for sale uh, after for sale by owners? That's again, that's the long hanging fruit. There's a lot of opportunities out there. Uh, we're going to cover another training, which stay tuned for that one and, and register to make sure you're getting the, the notification for the Real Estate Friday training, because we're going to show you different strategies. Uh, how to do it online, right? And we're going to have the assistance of, of our marketing director, Steve, who's going to be able to talk about different strategies that you can use to advertising online. And I'm going to show you ways that you can do it offline and where to get this lead from so you can start going after this for sale by owners. In addition to, we're going to be even showing you what type of message to send, what to say, how to say it, when to say it, what to leave behind. So they always remember you and they remember that you are the relevant agent who assisted them in the sale of the, of the property. At least we're providing something of value and that's what we wanna keep in mind. So stay tuned for the next Real Estate Friday. Now, a lot of you, I see uh, some of you are with us in, in you know, part of Broken Nation Real Estate. Uh, some of you are visiting or maybe you're watching this video on YouTube, Facebook, or any other social media platform. If you wanna learn more about what we do, why we do this and how we're servicing and helping our agents grow the real estate career, go to joinbrokenation.net and you will be able to learn more about our company. Uh, you're gonna be able to see testimonials from our agents and why they join Broken Nation, how their business is doing. And you can talk, you can call them, you can talk to them directly. Again, we're here to help you uh, grow your business. This company was built just for that, to help you, the agent. We have many information that we can provide, not only for sale by owners, but we have other strategies as well, which most of them are in this little guy right here. It's called the ultimate guide to becoming a top producing agent. So that's something that once you join Broker Nation, you also get this hard copy, but you can also download it for free if you're interested and you want to see how you can grow your business now. And you can go to dailanrubido.com. If you haven't done so, I highly encourage you to go get that guide. It talks a little bit about the for sale by owner and why you should pursue them and all the strategies that you can implement. But with that said, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, I hope you find it helpful and insightful that you can implement in your current business. And although this, this week was short, um, we still want to end the week strong, right? So that's why we want to give you some reasons that you can continue keeping your mindset strong and, and, and going after business. There's, there's many stuff going on out there that, that we want you guys to just, you know, think of different ways. If everybody's going one way, what other way can I go? What, what else can I implement? in my business. Armando, it's, it's, it's available if you need to reach out to him. If you have any questions or strategies that you want to implement, you can call me and, and Dailan Ruiz here at the Doral office. We can always talk about different strategies you can implement, ways to generate leads. We have a, a team in place that can help you as well. We have a marketing team. We have in-house uh, lending companies. We have in-house title companies owned by a, by a uh, an attorney, which means that the value add that we can, you know, add to your, to your strategy, to your business is huge. So don't hold back, reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to help. Amanda, I see you got back on any final words. No, I, I agree. I think that right now with the market, the way it is, I mean, if there's anybody out there that's trying to sell uh, what well, you got is a lot of for sale by owners thinking because the market's super hot that they don't really need a realtor. And that's the biggest mistake that they can make because now, because the market's super hot, most of the buyers are working with realtors who are sending them properties every day. They're up to date. You know, they have a drip campaign where if a property comes out in the MLS, as everybody knows, you know, you got multiple offers and you got multiple uh, uh, buyers are ready to, to buy that property. So, a way to approach it for sale by owner says right now is the time that you need a realtor more than ever because the amount of exposure that we have, you know, we got 40, 50,000 real estate agents in, in the South Florida market working right now with, you know, multiple, I mean, I know myself, I know everybody, you know, you have multiple buyers that are ready to buy, but we, we can't find properties for them. So the biggest mistake and, and the way that you can reach out to them and it's the biggest mistake they can make is to think because the market's hot they really don't need an agent, which is partly true. They can probably put a for sale by owner sign on the property and they'll sell it, but are they getting the most value for it? That's where 
you know, yeah, they can sell it, but are you going to get the most, you know, the, like the, the, uh, the thing that you show when you share your screen is, yeah, you know, the, you know, they, they, in part, they can, you know, they can sell it right away and quick, but are they going to be able to net, you know, including right. our commission, they're going to be able to net way more because of the amount, the frenzy that we, we call, you know, that the market is causing right now, we have multiple offers. And then the next thing is always remember now, because the market is super hot, you know, they may have multiple offers, mo multiple things. How do they choose the right one? How do they choose the one that's going to make more sense for them? You know, with the right financing, with the right inspection period, how do they monitor that? And that's why we have to always offer our services, not only because we can list it in the MLS. No, we also are realtors who will do this every day and can manage the transaction and be able to look out for their best interest. So that, you know, I think it's the best time uh, to be able to go get for sale by owners. We have the most leverage that we can ever have. I, I agree a hundred percent. And and just think about it. When, when in our company, like Broker Nation, we have, we have Marta with the attorney, we have the title company, we have lenders. I mean, you have a whole team behind you that you can tell a seller the type of services that you bring to the table. I mean, not a lot of agents out there have that team already set up and bending backwards for you. So, so use that, use that leverage and, and, and show them what you can do for them. Um, this market is awesome in, in the sense of there's a lot of opportunities out there. It's just a matter of having the right strategy in place to be able to go after these listings. And again, this market will change. Okay, this is this is now. This is a wave, but when that wave passes, you want to make sure you're the agent with as many listings as possible, because that's what buyers need, right? We're in the real estate business. We're selling properties, so we need the product. So you got to find ways and try that you can implement to be position yourself where people come to you rather you have to chasing, uh, you know, the listing uh, the listing agent. So it's all about having the right mindset and positioning yourself. So take advantage of what the marketing is offering. Um, again, sign up for the next um, uh, training that we have coming up. We're going to be talking about different little strategies that you can start implementing now, uh, scripts and everything we're going to share with you. Besides, if you cannot make the training, it's okay because uh, we want to make sure that we can send some of this information to you. So make sure you go to um, uh, www.brokernation.events and sign up for our next training. Uh, we have a Mindset Monday. We have the Real Estate Friday, but most importantly, sign up for a Real Estate Friday because we're going to continue uh, this uh, discussing this strategy so you can get more listings in today's market. And, mm -hmm. and again, uh, all this is put together to you in uh, bundles so you get all this and more when you go to joinbrokernation.net and you join us today and let us help you. All right, guys, with that said, please, thank you so much for joining us. Have a safe Friday. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Stay safe.